this eye makeup is so dramatic and just does not go with this like checkered top like it's so clashy but i'm cold and i just wanted to throw some on to be comfy so there we are but welcome back so today's video is best of 2020 so i've done my best of beauty this is skincare fashion tv music all that kind of stuff so it's just like one big favorites video just not including makeup of the whole of 2020 but i'm gonna try and whiz through because i'm sick of my videos being so long <laughs> But yeah this probably will be long too so so i can't believe that it's 2021 like where's where's the year gone i mean i'm buzzing it feels like i've had a youtube channel for so much longer as well and it's literally been less than four months and i'm like nah that's a lie so to start off this video i'm going to talk about my favorite perfumes i don't have one of them because i decluttered it in a video i'm pretty sure um but everyone loves black opium it just smells sugary vanilla-y like sexy um i mean i can't wear it on nights out which are good <laughs> and then this is olympia by paco rabanne this is like a daytime scent it's really fresh and floral i love this um but i was using diesel i don't know what it is it's like the heart one i'm gonna link it down below though a purple heart it's a dupe for black opium like a full-on dupe it's like at least 20 pound less don't hold me to that but i'm pretty sure it is and yeah they are my top three perfumes and i love them so much do you know what one i used to really like mark jacobs decadence like I have to repurchase that in 2021. So let's talk about skin care. I feel like the ordinary has to have a sort of mention first because last year I discovered how many good products the ordinary had. So I'm trying to think of what my favourites are, but I think there's three. So this first caffeine solution, this first, ca the first one <laughs> is caffeine solution. This is really good for your under eyes. Like, I feel like if you look at some of my videos from when I first started YouTube, my under eyes look better now. I mean, don't judge them too much today. I've not lathered on the concealer, but I actually feel like that has worked. I use um, another eye cream, but I'll probably get onto that. Then niacinamide. This, everyone raves about this. Like, I'm not being funny. Like, this has probably been out of stock for like a year now. <laughs> um, but I really, really like this. I've been using The Ordinary, though, for so much longer than it's been popular. Not, like, bragging about it. But my auntie used to send me these all the time. And, like, I don't know. I thought they were really good. But I was like, what brand is this? But she used to just send me and my mum them all the time. Um, and then when I read, like, when everyone got into it, I was like... I'm not gonna lie, I think I've literally put them to the side then and when everyone was talking about them, I was like, well, I wanna try them now. You know, that's just one of them. I should have believed in it before it got popular, you know? My phone full on then just cut me off, so I've no idea what I was saying, but basically, nice and amide, really good. Sorry if you can hear my dad drain his hair, but it's really good for blackheads, um, removing blackheads, overall skin texture, and lactic acid. This is really, really good. It's like a chemical exfoliant. Um, which is meant to be better than ones that you can feel like scrubbing on your face so i highly recommend this and use like two to three times a week but yeah they are my top three ordinary products i'm pretty sure but i feel like the serums they do are so good the moisturizer i used for a really long time but now i feel like you have to work very very hard to get it into your skin compared to other moisturizers if i'm going to be honest okay next i have been loving this cleanser for about six months or maybe more than that now this is the cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser i feel like i got this probably at the start of lockdown so like march honestly i've tried the clinique one the V one and the revolution one the revolution one is very close second really really good if you want a double cleanse this is like not an oil based one and the revolution one is so i like to double cleanse with both but the CeraVe and the Clinique one have been breaking me out. I'm trying the 
CeraVe one still, like on and off to see if it was actually that, but I'm pretty sure it was. But um, the Clinique, I think it's called Take the Day Off Balm, broke me out, which was so annoying. Um, but this one is so good. Um, the Liz Earl Hot Cloth Cleanser. I'll probably repurchase this forever. And the CeraVe one burns my eyes. This one completely fine, but honestly, like, I just like, you know, we just used to it because I've been using this so long, I've been like rubbing it in my eyes, rubbing it everywhere. And honestly, the CeraVe one was burning me, but this is so good, honestly. Next, I want to talk about La Roche Posay and this. This toner, I feel like just cleared my skin up beforehand. I feel like my skin. To be fair, my skin this year has not been that bad. Like, it actually hasn't because I've hardly worn makeup and I've been doing skincare a lot because I was stuck inside for, like, a year. So, I got this on my birthday after I'd seen so many good reviews on how this cleared up people's, like, back acne, um, just their face, like, spots, like, basically anywhere. And I feel like this is a game changer. It's about £10, I'm pretty sure. It's the Zero Cerazinc. Um, it's like a spray, but it's so good. Like, you just spray it on your face and you're good to go. And this is a big bottle. Like, this is lasting. But this cleared my skin. Like, I feel like all the spots and some scarring has gone. I just love it. I feel like this is probably my favourite skincare product of the whole year. And I've only had it for two months, so that is saying something. Okay, then next and lastly on the skincare and the can I speak on the skincare front is Makeup Revolution. They are the top brand of 2020. Everything. So firstly, we've got to talk about their face masks. They're so good. So I have the charcoal and green tea one. I have another one as well, the dragon fruit, I think. Can't see. Um, but they're so good. This charcoal one is my favourite. I've gone for a whole tub of these. This is the second one that my best friend got me for my birthday. Thank you. This just sits in your pores. Like, honestly, it makes you realise how many pores you actually have. And you're like, oh, whoa. But it sits in. I feel like it just drags it all out. It's like, ugh, snatched, wig snatched, you know? Honestly, so good. And I've not tried this one yet because I just this is the best one it's just charcoal pro purifying mask you need it and these always go on offer as well they'll always be one for like half price so check them out for show sure. then i other than the caffeine solution i've been using this as well which is the pigment eye boost um it's a tiny pot but you only use a tiny amount i've used so much of this it's the color correcting eye cream I feel like both of these together work very, very well. And I feel like they've made my under eyes so much better. At the minute, though, my under eyes are so pro problematic because something has set them off. Not these, but I think I've used something recently and it's just set them off being dry again. So I've not used too many products underneath my eyes recently. But for the most part, this... I feel like this really has made my under eyes feel look brighter like they look brighter with this and the caffeine solution so i feel like it's both of them mixed or maybe just one of them i have no idea but i'm using both still i think they're so so good lastly on skincare and makeup revolution is their skincare sprays so that i have the super fruit replenishing essence spray um and this is a brightening ginseng um antibacterial one um, I have another one as well. What is that? Glycolic acid. These set your face when you've done your skincare. So it's like setting your face when you've done your makeup. These lock in your skincare. They make your skin look healthy, glowing and bright. Like people know when I've put these on, all my friends will be like, your skin looks amazing. And they act like, honestly, I feel like all my friends have these as well now. They are so good. And I love this antibacterial one. I'm going to spray it everywhere. Anyone comes near me, I'm like, Tss. ready? Right no covid for me you know oh wow that smells so good oh my perfume <laughs> so this is my favorite perfume of the year guys but yeah they are literally so good and i'd highly recommend them as well i think you can get them on asos as well so if you've got that next day delivery add one into your basket 
God, mine ran out. I need to do that. It expired. Can't believe I had it for a year. <laughs> what have I been doing? Oh, we're done the skincare. Yeah, so did I. But I had to mention these T Zone. These are from Home Bargains. They're literally like one pound twenty nine for like a pack of six. I don't even know. The charcoal and bamboo one are the ones that are green. I don't know what they are. Just nose pore. So these are nose pore strips, and they it says draws out impurities and traps them to unplug core pores. I can't speak, but. These are so good. You know when you just like rip it off, you can actually see everything. It's pulled out. Like me and my friends send pictures to each other when we've done these because we're that weird. But I love looking at it. I love it. Like, honestly, these are so good as well. Like, I don't know. I don't really know much about T-Zone, what other things they have. But their no strips are the one. And because they're in home bargains, cheap, cheerful. You can get them on your weekly shop, you know. Bargain. Next, I got into doing my own nails this year. I do my own gel nails. I have a video on it already, but honestly, Lavender Violets are the best brand ever. So not the brand I'm wearing today and you can feel it. Like I, this is Miley and Miley have very good colors, but the formula is a bit, you know? So these are my two favorite colors of the year. And yeah, they're pink. I just love pink nails. I feel like, nothing really compares for christmas though i got like some color changing ones but i've not tried them yet so we can try them this year um this is says the color one and this is number three but i think the one that looks like a bubblegum pink on amazon in the link down below and the one that looks like hot pink it's just them the colors are a bit naff but like the colors on amazon are different to these like the numbers on the bottom i'm pretty sure so like i don't know if they even correlate to each other but these are my favourite colours ever. This hot pink I've worn the most out of any colour I have. I think it's my favourite ever, ever, ever. But any pink nail polish is for me. I think I'm going to do a separate video about hair care. What are my favourite products to use? My extensions and like favourite hair tools and stuff for another video. So watch out for that. But I feel like a whole hair care video. And I have been asked a couple of times about it. I don't do that much. But I feel like a little video on it would probably be better. But now I want to talk about fake tan. But I'm, only, I'm not really going to talk about fake tan. I'm going to talk about gradual tan. And I have found one really good gradual tan this year. Fake tan for me has been a bit of a weird year. Because I didn't wear it for a lot of it. And then I wore it all the time to make myself feel better. Even though I couldn't really go anywhere. So this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Natural Bronze Body Lotion Gradual Tanning Moisturiser. Builds and maintains a natural looking tan. If you just wear this without tan, it's amazing. If you want to put it on to maintain it, it moisturises. It makes the nicest colour like ever. I love this. The only problem is sometimes because it is like white and not doesn't have like a base or anything because it isn't fake tan it can go a bit streaky especially when i like to do it at mine at 3 a.m but this is so good and i didn't want to put a tan in this video because i've been using tans and like they are so hard to get off but um my friend actually told me that this this brand has a scrub that's really good at getting fake tan off so i'm gonna try that and they have like a firming one for boobs and bums and stuff so now i feel like we could talk about my favorite clothes which i'm not going to ramble on about because i feel like this video will be so repetitive to other clothing videos i've done which is not a lot i'm not really i don't really buy that many clothes all the time so i don't really do a lot of hauls i think i have three though in the space of four months so is that a bit too much i don't know i mean i have quite a few clothes but i want to talk about my staples that i got this year so this is probably my favourite purchase of the whole year. When leather blazers came into fashion. I just can't. This is from ASOS. It's not available anymore though. Someone asked me where it was from. And I literally went on the website. It just wasn't there. But I'm pretty sure they have quite a few. But they're just all like 40 or £50. Pound, which like is like. <gasps> like I had to get the sunglana. Like paying free. You know. Exposing myself. I feel like if i didn't have these in a haul this is not haul sweetheart are you okay if i didn't have these in a video for the best clothing of 2020 
you'd probably all be like, Lorraine, that's all you wear. These collusion shirt dresses, I'm not being funny. I have this, yeah, five different colours. I've got these two browns, which are probably my favourite. This one is my favourite. Look at that mocha. I love this chocolate brown and more tan. I've got a sage green one, a black and a white. These are so good. Size down, probably two sizes though. They're huge. Huge. But they're on ASOS, about £20. Some of them are in sale now for about 16 to 18 Get that shooting discount if you can. They're just so good. You want to put a belt on and some heels on with this? You can. You want to leave it open, put a bikini underneath, put a dress underneath. Just wear it like uh, the white one of these with the leather blazer. Any of these with blazers with the brown blazers I have. I can't. Job interviews, meals, casual days. These will forever be my favourite, favourite things to wear. And I like that it just sort of looks like you've rocked up in like your boyfriend's top, you know? Also, leading on with shirt dresses, I feel like they are so flattering. If you have a body shape like me, um, or you are quite self-conscious and you don't want to wear something tight, but you still want to look dressy, a satin shirt dress i have this in a pink that i wore on christmas day and loads of people asked me where it was and they loved it so i thought i could show you the white one i have it in pink white and black um what are they called misguided had a green and a blue one i was like when we're allowed out back clubbing i'm buying them but not right now but these are my favorite things ever to wear on nights out they look so classy and elegant, but also like they're not figure hugging and especially for someone like me that is curve. <laughs> like if you are shopping in the curve range and you want to find something that's flattering, not too tight, you're going to feel comfortable in it all night to get drunk in, even though this is white. Do you know what? I have worn this in clubs before and it's not ruined, so and I've had it for about a year now. They're so good. Um, I buy mine as t-shirts. Like This is from the shirt section, but because I am like 5'2", I can get away with it because they are really, really long. I do put cycling shorts on underneath though because like, you know, put your arms up. <laughs> Woo! The last fashion accessory, should we say, is here. Is it normal to have this many shoulder bags? I don't want a shoulder bag collection. I probably have enough bags to do it. But... Come on, ladies, we're going shopping. <laughs> Look how many there are. CBA shoulder bags this year have been my obsession. I love them. I love just holding them, putting them over the shoulder, looking all cute. They look cute with every outfit. But I feel like you need one for different vibes. I get most of mine from ASOS, but I just love them. Like, literally, look at this cow prune one. Then we've got this fluff. These were from Shein. This fluffy one. Blue. Zebra. Lime green. This is my, this colour. Snake print. And pink. Favourite things ever. I've got bags coming out of my head. And for jewellery, I my friend has a business on Depop and it's called Cosmic Crystals and she does these cute necklaces and this was literally like five pounds. It's always in the description. It literally looks so cute. I mean, my nails are too big right now. I can't put this on by myself. <laughs> I need my mum. Honestly, literally so amazing. I love these colours. That's why I picked this one, but she has so many. So definitely check that out. Um, and my boyfriend got me a Michael Kors watch for Christmas and it's literally amazing. And I can't wait to wear that. I've only worn it like twice um, because we can't really go anywhere and I'm not going to wear it while I'm just chilling. Um, but that for me is the best thing of 2020. Like how amazing and thoughtful is that? Like I've never had a watch. Like it's just, oh, it's so quiet. I'll cry. But yeah, that was like an amazing present. It's like all black so so cool it was in my what i got for my birthday i can link that down below if you really want to see it i want to talk about tv shows next i just finished bridgerton is that how you pronounce it bridgerton i'm going mental now i watched it in less than 24 hours 
obsessed with it. I watched The Queen's Gambit in the one go in less than 24 hours. Honestly, sex education's coming back soon. I always watch that season in 24 hours. I am one of them people. I can't wait. But for me, this was the year I watched... Hair in my face. This was the year that I watched Grey's Anatomy and it changed my life. Honestly, that show, if you have not watched it, watch it, but don't get attached to one person other than Meredith Grey. Everyone leaves, everyone dies. It is so, so depressing. Like, there have been times where I've had to stop watching that for two weeks because I was so, so sad. And also the fact that lagging makes you feel like everything's wrong with you. I get a headache and I'm like, that's it, I'm gone. They had a headache on this show once and uh, you know what I mean? But it's the best show I've ever watched. That is not nice. It's the best show I have ever watched. And One Tree Hill and Vampire Diaries and Prison Break are nearby. But that show this year changed my life. And I need to watch the new season of that. But I can't find it in the UK. Anyone have a link? Share it with me. I thought it'd be on Amazon Prime or Sky. It's not on either. So that's a bit depressing. But that that show i also did fall in love with dawson's creek this year i've never watched that and it was just like magical um but i like a lot of tv shows like you's coming out soon again and sex education i really really like them um i can't believe gossip girl like vampire Diaries, and we took off netflix so like what am i gonna do in my spare time oh and friends you can't forget friends all i do is watch friends um, Benidorm, I've rewatched that a lot this year. I love Benidorm. Um, I feel like that's really it. Yeah, they were all amazing, but Grey's Anatomy takes the cake with that one. Um, music this year, I'd have to say, Taylor Swift bringing out two albums. I love her. I just love Taylor Swift, and she went back to, like, country Taylor this year. I've stopped listening to her when she was singing songs like look what you made me do and like all that um it's not really my vibe but the country taylor like betty august champagne problems all of them just so so cute i can't deal with them like them albums for me were just amazing and i love listening to them on like road trips and stuff like that um my Spotify wrapped was basically like Ariana Grande, which I'm loving her new album at the minute. I feel like I was a bit late to listen to that, but I'm loving that. Um, my favourite song on it is probably Magic at the minute. Like, just like magic. <laughs> um, I'm trying to really think because like for this year, I'll leave my Spotify wrapped down below and I did a playlist video, so I'm not going to like repeat myself, but People like Drake and really like Kalani's new album, Walker. Summer Walker, for me this year, is probably one of my top artists as well. Girls Need Love with her and Drake in. I can't stop listening to that and that song has been out for like a year now. And I'm still here like, vibing. Maybe that song, you know. Drake needs a new album though and Post Malone needs a new album. I used to love Post Malone, like... Feeling Whitney, like when you're sad, is am amazing. I can't find the vinyl for that song with Feeling Whitney on. So if anyone knows where I can get that, please let me know. I need like the deluxe one. But every time I click on one, they're like £50 as well. That song isn't on it. And I'm like, if I want to cry, I need Feeling Whitney on my vinyl. I think that's the end of the video. I feel like food wise and stuff, I've just had a lot of McDonald's this year, you know. I've had a lot of chippies. We've all been, it's been a bad year, um, but I like, I feel like I found some really, really good stuff this year, like, and I feel like I found more of a sense of style, I feel more like me, I've really had fun with makeup, my best of beauty will be a link down below, but will you please let me know any videos you want, because I don't really know what to film now, Vlogmas is over, like, I'm a bit stuck, um, that's why, um, that's why I've done two best of 2020 videos because I feel like they're like favourite videos and I love favourites videos. Um, but yeah, if you really enjoyed this, please let me know, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you hopefully tomorrow for another video. No idea what it is yet, so please can you comment and give me an idea, please? What you I can't do this on my own. <laughs>